My name is Andrzej Pecha. I'm a graduate student at The Ohio State University and I'm here to report on a recent paper with Chris Kochanek, which is entitled A Global Physical Model for Cephids. I'd like to introduce you to some of the basic points that we make in our paper. The classical cephids play a key role in extragalactic distance determination. Precise distance estimates using cephids require a good understanding of systematic effects such as extinction and metallicity. Light curve templates in individual bands are also needed to determine accurate mean magnitudes and periods of extragalactic cephids with sparse light curves. In our paper, we address these issues by constructing a global physical model for cepheid light curves and radio velocity curves. For each cepheid, the radio velocity V and magnitude M in filter I are described by these equations. We fit these equations to about 5,000 radio velocity and 177,000 magnitude measurements in 29 photometric bands covering 0.3 microns to 8 microns and distributed among 287 cepheids in the galaxy LMC and SMC. We self-consistently determine distances, reddenings, radii and temperatures of individual cepheids along with a global reddening law as well as the mean spectral energy distribution of a cepheid and its dependence on temperature. We self-consistently determine the uncertainties in all parameters, including all their covariances. This is an example of a fit to a radio velocity curve and light curves in a number of photometric bands for a cepheid TT Aquila. The typical residual is only 0.05 magnitudes, despite the incomplete physics of the models. The light curve and radio velocity templates were constructed from phase curves of radius and temperature, which can be easily generalized to any new band with the knowledge of a single parameter, the logarithmic derivative of the spectrum with respect to temperature, beta. We make our templates publicly available. This figure shows the temperature coefficients beta as a function of wavelength. Results of our fit are shown with black circles and the uncertainties are smaller than the symbol size. The solid gray line is the estimate of beta based on the Castelli and Kuruts atmosphere models. The dashed gray line is the estimate of beta for a black body. The biggest deviations from the black body agree well with the Castelli and Kuruts model and are caused by line blanketing effects. There are, however, systematic disagreements with the Castelli and Kuruts model in the infrared that are probably caused by problems in the molecular opacities. We investigate the effect of composition on the cepheid parameters. Based on stellar atmosphere models, we predict the biases in distance, reddening and temperature determinations due to the metallicity. We quantify the metallicity signature expected in our fit residuals. This figure shows the observed residuals as a function of wavelength for the three individual galaxies. We see clear differences between the individual galaxies which are compatible with these predictions. The residuals are quite small because the effects of the metallicity are largely compensated for by changes in the distance or radius, reddening and temperature. This figure shows the residuals with respect to the mean relations of the temperature and the radius for cepheids in the galaxy, LMC and SMC. We see a clear trend that the galactic cepheids are generally cooler than the LMC cepheids and the SMC cepheids are generally hotter. The simplest explanation of this pattern is the effect of composition. Finally, in our paper we provide a general framework for optimally selecting filters that yield the smallest overall error of cepheid parameter determination. We also provide filter combinations that enhance or suppress the metallicity effect on distance determination. If you'd like to read more about exactly what we've done and the details of our methods and results, please take a look at our paper which was posted on the SOPH archive today.